Since WebEx updated to WebEx version 40.9, some of the new features have slowly been added to our WebEx meetings portal. So one of the new settings that we're going to look at today is unlocked meetings and the waiting room. So I'm going to go in to schedule a meeting. I'm going to click on show advanced options. Then I'm going to click on scheduling options. This is where you'll be able to find these settings for any meeting that you are currently scheduling or if you want to edit a meeting I will show you where that is at the end. So the new um, items that have been added are breakout sessions, unlocked meetings, and automatically lock. So we're going to talk about unlocked meetings. If I click and hover over this eye it'll tell you what this setting does. With this setting you can choose what happens when guests join an unlocked meeting. Guests are defined as users who haven't signed in to their WebEx account on this site, so through our GCCISD site, or they are external users who do not have WebEx accounts on this site. Since our students and parents do not have WebEx accounts through Goose Creek, they are considered guests. So as I talk about guests, that would be any one coming into your meeting that is not a employee that is logged into their GCCISD WebEx account. So again, guests would be students and parents. Um, so here, what we have a choice to do is everyone in your organization can always join an unlocked meeting. And then it asks when the meeting is unlocked, so by default your meeting is unlocked, what can guests do? The first option says guests can join the meeting. This is what has been the current um, default up until this point. So if someone was sent the link to your meeting for your class and they clicked on the link, they're a guest and they would be able to join the meeting. They wouldn't have to um, ask permission to join the meeting. The second option, what this means, guests wait in the lobby until the host admits them. So when the meeting starts, if the meeting is unlocked and someone clicks on a link to come to your meeting, if they are a guest, so a student or a parent, they will be placed in a lobby waiting area, a separate lobby waiting area for each person that tries to join your meeting. And they would be placed in that waiting room until the host admits them to join the meeting. And what you're seeing right now on the screen, this is um, what it would look like for a guest trying to join the meeting. And then this is what it looks like for the host of the meeting. They would get an option to um, admit the person into the room. They would see their name. And then you as the host would have the option to admit them into your class, which means you are opening the door for them to come in, or you could leave them in that waiting room lobby area. If you have multiple people waiting in the waiting room, you can select them all at once as shown here and admit them, or you can pick and choose which people to admit into the meeting. You do not have to do them one at a time. The third option is guests can't join the meeting. So if I was an external user trying to join the meeting and I clicked on the WebEx link, this is the screen I would get if this setting was chosen. The next option we're going to look at is automatic lock. So you do also have the ability to lock your meeting automatically um, after the meeting starts. So if you check that check mark, you can then select one of the options to lock your meeting. If your meeting is locked, if you select um, any of these options, if I pick five minutes, my meeting would be unlocked and open. And then after five minutes, the meeting would lock. And then anyone trying to get into my meeting after that lock point where they're waiting in a lobby until they are given admittance by the host. So you do have these new options available to you. You can use them um, in whatever way you see fit for your classroom and for your students. If you want to edit any of your existing meetings um, to make changes to your settings, you would go to your portal and either on the home screen under upcoming meetings or you can also access this from the meetings option on the left. What you would do is click on the title of the meeting 
it would open up the meeting information on the meeting link, um, the ability for you to start the meeting and all of the settings. What you're going to want to do is click on the pencil button at the top to edit. On the pop-up that appears, we want to change all of the meetings in the entire series. So we're going to click on the um, option for edit the entire series. Then we're going to click on OK. And then from here, you have the ability to make any changes to your meeting that you need. Um, again, if you wanted to change any of those um, unlocked meeting settings, you'd click on show advanced options and then click scheduling options. And then you have those unlocked meeting settings and automatic lock. If you make any changes, you will need to click save to save those um, changes to your meeting. And again, it will change the entire series. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.